Tia here with Mastering Pop, and today I'm going to quickly show you how to add a timer to your email campaign and tweak your email sender line. Hey everyone, I'm Tia Jones, the founder of Mastering Pop, which is mastering profitability over popularity. I'm also the creator of the No Fail Mastering Ecom Workflow Bundle, which is a digital marketing course that's available right now. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add a countdown timer to your email and tweak your sender line. But before I do this, please click the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. I upload video sharing tips on things you can do that will help you to scale your e-commerce store. So I'm going to dive right into it. Uh, you're going to go to whatever email automation software that you're using. Mine is Klaviyo. <laughs> Everybody knows this. Um, so once you log in, uh, you would go to campaigns because you're going to create a campaign. Uh, my campaign name, Baked Cookies, right? So I'm going to move over to... Uh, the subject line, so as you can see, sender name, I have baked cookies, right? Um, typically, your brand name would be here, so mine would be Flower Power Packages, but I changed it today to baked cookies. Uh, we have, um, we bought a new product, uh, it's high hemp uh, baked cookies, uh, blunt wraps. So uh, you can see my subject line at your front door. My preview text, you like baked cookies, right? So these three fields are filled out, right? Sender name, subject line, preview text. So now I'm gonna show you how to add a timer. All right, so now we're into the email campaign that I'm gonna send out. So this is the, the blunt wraps, hemp wraps that I'm gonna send out, or send out, that I'm gonna send an email campaign. Uh, let's see, so we're gonna add text. I'll add it here. And my the platform that I like to use to create my countdown is Centric. Um, I'm not logged in right now, but I'll just show you really quickly. Uh, do, 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 do. We'll say it's over on the 23rd. English background color. Let's see, background color of the timer. We'll make it like that. I agree to the terms. As you can see right here, you can actually add text above the timer, but uh, for the sake of this video and just to get through this, I'm just gonna show you how you can add your timer, right? So I'm gonna say generate code, oh, tractor, 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 boom. All right, we're real. All right, so I'm gonna grab the code, go back over to uh, my email campaign. I've added the, the text blocks, right, right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this, go to source and paste the code, hit save, and here's my timer. Well, you know what, let's, we'll make a few adjustments here. So we're gonna clone this, drag this down here, and we're gonna center the timer. So center, we'll say center. Uh, why is the end code? So we're gonna center it. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, where did it go? Oh, okay. All right, so now it's centered. So all I did was add center right here, and that's it. So now it's centered. Again, you can have text that's above the actual timer, um, for, but for the sake of the video, um, I just wanted to show you how to do it. So you're going to add your text block generate the code, go to your source, and then uh, boom, you have you now have a timer. So that's it, that is it. So now we're gonna just preview this, right? So let's send it to, what are we gonna send it to? Flower Power Packages Marketing at Gmail. So we're gonna see what this looks like, all right? So that's sent. Uh, so let's go to the email. Mm, let's refresh. Oh, boom. Baked cookies at your front door. You like baked cookies, right? So there it is. Let's open it up. 
All right, so we see our timer, email, we're done. Done deal. All right, so that's how you do it. That's how you add a timer to your email campaign. Again, I, I used a platform called Centric. I'm not sure uh, about the different pricing, but you can look into that. And I showed you how to alter your, your sender line, right? So baked cookies versus your, your brand name. All right, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found value in this video. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Uh, I'm Tia, and um, that's it.